Hello and welcome back to the Pam and Peggy Show. With me today is Chris Johnson. She's the Executive Director with the Sexual Assault Response Committee. Chris, you just had a very successful walk a mile in her shoes at Spectrum. And that was fun and interesting, but what's that all about? <laughs> Well, this year we had our seventh annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, and what we do is we get men to walk one mile in mm -hmm. red, high-heeled mm -hmm. shoes to bring awareness to sexual assault, sexual abuse, and gender-based violence. Okay, and is there a lot of that sort of thing going around in Medicine Hat? Yeah, um, we know that one in three women um, and one in six men will experience sexual assault or sexual abuse in their lifetime. That's a lot. It is. <laughs> so Sexual Assault Response Committee is a regional a, a re regional not-for-profit now, that's right. right? And yes. uh, but what, how many men were involved? We put um, 51 men wow. in those beautiful shoes. Wow. And also with those men came their families and their friends and they all walked together. And raising awareness of the fact that we do have an issue with Absolutely. gender violence and sexual assault. And So what does SARC do? I know it's a 365 day, uh, w no. That probably is kind of sometimes 24-7 sorts of things that go on. What is it all about in Medicine Hat and, and region? Um, across the region, we have um, four committees that are working. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a committee in Medicine Hat that is working jointly to address sexual assault, um, mm -hmm. as well as one in Oyen, one in the 40 Mile region, and one in Brooks mm -hmm. to um, address or sexual assault and sexual abuse. And then, um, so all of those services are coordinated to provide services specific. Mm -hmm. um, to anyone who comes forward. SARC themselves, so here in Medicine Hat, although we do cover the region, mm -hmm. we provide counseling services up to mm -hmm. 12 sessions and then we provide network navigation. Um, so if you don't know where to go mm -hmm. or you have questions surrounding services mm -hmm. or what would be best for you, we'll help you figure that out. And can anyone apply for services? Absolutely. We serve men, men women, children. We, um, and it doesn't matter when um, the sexual assault or sexual abuse happened. We're there for you. Oh, okay. Now, I understand you're in a new location downtown. In, we are. On 3rd Street? We moved into the 640 Professional Building right. on 3rd Street. Right. And so th there are three, three of you, four of you? Four. We four. grew four. from two to four. Wow. That's great. Yeah. And a lot of community involvement with um, board members or, and do you have volunteers or? Um, we have a very low volunteer base. Mm -hmm. It tends to be specific to events like Walk a right. Mile. Right. Although we're always open to that. Yeah. yeah. And um, our board members come across, come from across the region to represent right. those different right. communities. And each community, I understand, has its own strategy for d dealing with things in their Absolutely. own way. Yeah. Absolutely. We believe that each community is different mm -hmm. and also different things work in different places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we brought those committees together and said, what do you want to do here? And right. so they came up with all those wonderful yeah. things. That's great. So if people wanted more information about um, Sexual Assault Response Committee, if you they bet. had questions, do you have a, a website, a phone number, how do they get in touch with Absolutely. you? We have both. Okay. We have a newly developed website which is um, www.mhsarc.com mm -hmm. or our phone number is 403-548-2717. Great. Now Chris, um, this is part, I know your organization is one of many mm -hmm. not-for-profits in Medicine Hat that, did it grow, did this grow out of the need <laughs> in our community? Is that how SARC came about? Well, basically, we don't actually know when SARC started. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's between 18 to 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And what happened was community organizations saw mm -hmm. that a whole bunch of people were coming in and disclosing sexual mm -hmm. assault or sexual abuse. So they decided to get together and use their joint resources to address the issue. Mm -hmm. And that committee has kept working for all this time and it's mm -hmm. grown and it's been enhanced and still today mm -hmm. it's all our community agencies coming together mm -hmm. to meet the needs. And are things better? Do you think things are improving in the world of people who have been affected by sexual assault? I would say that there are more resources, mm -hmm. we are more coordinated and mm -hmm. that people are coming forward more. Mm -hmm. We've seen our disclosure rate um, like to policing agencies mm -hmm. go from 6% to 8%, mm -hmm. that's huge. Yeah. And we hope to see it keep going and getting yeah. bigger. 
And even in the smaller communities now, there are some resources available where people don't necessarily have to come to Medicine Hat or Absolutely. Baker Center to get to get this. Yeah, we can go out and meet with people mm -hmm. um, where they're at. Um, mm -hmm. We have in each community, we have places where we can go and see people. Um, and within communities, um, we have trained people in first response. Okay. So um, we held trainings, and if um, someone discloses to someone, they know exactly mm -hmm. what to say and where to send them to get help and how to contact us. Right. So people will feel a lot safer in disclosing, and the people who are providing that frontline support will will do be able to do good and not maybe make things worse inadvertently. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, you think sometimes in a little community like Medicine Hat, we shouldn't have to worry about those kinds of social issues. But I guess it doesn't matter where you are, it's part of the human condition. So Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's so wonderful to see an organization like SARC, grassroots, growing mm -hmm. and serving the community and the larger community. And for those 51 men with blisters, <gasps> I'm sure, <laughs> uh, we look forward to seeing them next year. And, yes. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much, Chris. It's been great talking Thanks, with Pam. you. So don't go away. We'll be back with more of the Pam and Peggy Show.